everyone. Welcome to the Plexus Blogcast. Uno numero quattro. Gotta stop doing this before I run out of numbers I can say. Um, not sure why I started that. Well, we are uh, a little bit of a reversal of roles here. I'm going to be asking Matt questions. Uh, again, I'm Jared with uh, Business Development for Plexus Software, and, and Matt is in charge of marketing. So, Matt, mm-hmm. marketing, not my favorite subject. I don't <laughs> really like to touch a lot of it. Um, where do you even begin when it comes to marketing? Um, I find most people just kind of throw money at it or right. they just hire some outside firm who maybe is doing something for them and then they mm-hmm. usually fire that firm and go to another one because, of course, they're not getting the results. So where would you say a company should even begin? All right. So it kind of depends on your goals and what your size. But I think for if you're thinking really starting out and you're a small business, um, I think the number one thing is I think referrals are still huge, especially for the service industry. So you're wanting to obviously – Produce a good service for your clients, and they're going to tell people. So that's fundamental. And then figuring out ways to encourage that. Um, thankfully, with social media, you can really use that to you know try to get your clients to refer you or to speak about you on social media. Those are free ways, kind of like called guerrilla marketing. Um, a big one the way to do that. So there's a, another free way is um, Instagram. Right now, it's kind of at its peak of usefulness in that sense. Um, and so if you use Instagram or if you don't, maybe there's somebody in your business that does. So that includes both posting on Instagram about what's going on in your business and be, don't be salesy about it. Like, hey, here's our sale about this. No, one's, no one cares about that. Just be interesting and engaging about what's going on in your business. And I think that's what will attract people. And in that also is... Um, you can find the people who are your customers or in your, whether it's in your area or in the country. If you're a, more of an online, you can reach anybody. Um, find your customers on there and start following hashtags that they would follow. Follow businesses that, that maybe are your customers or maybe uh, people that are trending. And then just be a part of the community. Comment on people's posts, things like that. That's how people – it's a free way to get people to engage with your uh, interesting Instagram. interesting that you would call it a community. So, so – probably the first way people would have to adjust the way they think about social media is yes. actually put on more of a social community hat. Right. Not a salesy hat. Okay. Because people will, whether that's LinkedIn or Instagram or Facebook, um, they'll spam people with messages and stuff like that. It's, hey, you should, hear, you know, you would really benefit from our service. I don't know. Just think about it the other side. You know, if you got this random message on LinkedIn or on Instagram, and be like, uh, I don't know you. I'm not going to pick your service. So it's kind of a waste of your time, and it kind of gives you a bad reputation too. So you said early on, making you know engage, engage your customers, make it engaging and interesting. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know. What if I don't do something interesting? Like, you know, how right. how, how how do you expound on that? Yeah, yeah. So I think people are the interesting thing about the social media and the technology age that we're in is that you can give a window into worlds that no one ever gets windowed in. So we're, we're a part of a software company and we do a lot with service industry and said, and I think in a previous blog cast that we do a lot with insulation and many insulation people think that that's, you know, their world is pretty boring. You're up in a hot attic or, you know, dealing with this nasty stuff to try to make these people's buildings. But there's people out there that make kind of in really interesting Instagrams. They pictures of the beautiful houses they work on or, uh, make good com or make funny comments because th- funny things happen because in life funny things happen. Sure. So doing you know trying to kind of bring out this humanity on what you do and sharing with that, I think that's that's the allure and interest of making because um, then they can trust you, right? Because that's the big thing you're trying to build is trust through marketing, because when people trust your your brand, your company, then they're more willing to give you money, and so that's. That's what being more authentic and real on the social media is really kind of helpful for that trust building. I'm getting all motivated here. Like, <laughs> good thing you're in charge of this. <laughs> um, how does a small business know what's the right type of marketing for them? Right. So, yeah, in today's world, there's just so much marketing to choose from. Obviously, there's some, like, 
old school ways that can be seen, you know, whether newspaper. it's newspapers, um, billboards, um, telemarketing, um, those sort of things are hard magazines, you know, th- and there's still people out trying to sell you that stuff. I'm not saying there's no value in those things, but the problem with it compared to like online based digital based marketing is that there's no way to know if it made any impact. You know, you can throw up a billboard and you're assuming people are going to drive by and see it, but you have no idea if any of them become customers. So uh, it can be helpful for some things if you just have money to, to spend and you want to build your brand. It can be helpful for that. But for most people, most businesses, it's your, your, it's not your best use of your marketing money. Yeah. And we've seen the conversion of billboards for sure. It used to be very salesy potentially. Right. At least I remember them that way. And now mm-hmm. they're way more brand oriented. Yes feel whole, you know, right. What does that even mean? I don't know. It's the brand of the local hospital. Um, Right. Right. So that's just how that works. Yeah. So, so for big, bigger companies or even medium sized companies that have the marketing budget to do, it can be really, those things can be helpful for branding for getting the brand out there, but they're not, that money is not going to bring you customers. So for the smaller companies, then you're big fan of the digital online marketing. Yeah, I think that's definitely the way to go because that's that's where your customers are. And so their goal is to get in front of your customers. And that's going to be the easiest way to know that you're getting in front of your potential customers. And it's going to be your lowest cost to get in. Um, And in that world, kind of a simple way to think about it is if you want to people who are ready to purchase or to call to do something, Google AdWords is really the or those sort of search engine based uh, marketing. Um, so that's a whole complicated topic that Google's trying more and more to make it simple, but it's complicated to do. But that's really the best way to get someone who's ready to purchase or ready to buy your service. But if you want to get people to know about you, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn are more geared towards that versus trying to get people who are ready to buy. There's like, oh, I, ju- I need people to know about my company so that then they can learn to learn about us and then those who are interested then would buy. Well, so that's one way to think about it. As you said earlier, most are going to be referral based. Right. Somebody who knows about you and trusts you, who's never used your service, could still refer to you. Right. I've seen it happen time and time again. Mm-hmm. So that's where uh, you know, that's not going to help you on Google uh, nope. AdWords when you're going for the buyer. Right, itself. exactly. They're reaching out for referral first. Mm -hmm. So last question for you with small businesses, then the ones you're describing, how do they take it to the next level? I know we've kind of talked about taking it to the next level and being more uh, billboards and other areas you spend money once you've kind of taken care of what's more important. But even within that area, I imagine there's taking it to the next level. If somebody's Mm -hmm. already doing some of some of those uh, things you've described. Right. Right. And so, yeah, especially if you've been a company that's been around for a while, you've, probably used to doing some level of marketing. So really take it to the next levels. I mean, do you do you have someone in your company that is in charge of marketing and has that experience to really be able to, like, whether to take you deeper into the digital marketing space or how to kind of, kind of stitch together a holistic marketing? Because um, a lot of people in the marketing field can get, get, get stuck in their niche. Oh, like I do YouTube or I do Google AdWords or I do LinkedIn and really what you're wanting to build is kind of a, um, a multifaceted in many different ways so that people are encountering you in multiple ways. Because the research shows that it takes, you know, it varies, but let's say five to ten interactions with your brand, with your company, to then make a purchase. And so the more places you're at, they can encounter you, the more chances you're moving them through that encounters to make a purchase or to buy something, buy your service. So um, that's what I would say is whether it's you have someone already or hiring someone or hiring a firm that does marketing, it's about creating that holistic sort of online marketing tool. And then the other piece I would say is besides just the the multifaceted piece is content. Uh, Content is king right now. It's like, is there something about, what you do that you could you know blog ab- you know blog about or podcast about or make videos about because that's the stuff that people 
want to see, not just your ads. Um, so if, if you're already doing a lot of ads, that would really be the next w- way to take your, your brand to the next level and start producing content. And that, that can be a whole other topic in of itself, but that would be the way to take it to the next. It's a delight to hear about all the different perspectives you bring to the table. I'm sure at some point we can touch base on how do you know your marketing is working and keeping track and some of the more analytical approach. Right. Um, but I'm glad we kept this more relationship oriented. Yeah, yeah, it's good. And if you want to learn more, read read the blog that goes on with this. And we'll catch you next time on the blogcast. <laughs>